Well, he has been called the most hated man in America, but Tony Hayward, the CEO of BP, uh, says he's going to remain in charge at the company. I want to bring in an expert right now in strategy and leadership who has some uh, doubts about all of that. He is Sidney Finkelstein, the author of Why Smart Executives Fail and also Why Good Leaders Make Bad Decisions. Uh, Sidney, uh, great to have you with us. And I think the title of one of your books is very apt for the situation, Why Smart Executives Fail. Uh, why is Tony Hayward failing? You know, Tony Hayward is the person, I think, that was thrust into this job probably a little bit prematurely. If you remember what got him the CEO job in the first place, it was uh, three years ago that the former CEO, John Brown, had to resign in the wake of uh, a variety of uh, big missteps. And, uh, and, and Tony Hayward, he's, he's someone who's a, a PhD in geology, longtime exploration expert, um, but not necessarily someone who is perhaps as seasoned as you'd might like to see. And, uh, and now, you know, every day it seems to be another gaffe, another, another statement that people are wondering, this is the face of, of BP, and uh, and they've been backpedaling uh, right from the beginning of the whole process. Yeah, they have. I mean, and, and maybe he's not as seasoned in crisis management uh, as other CEOs might be, but surely he's got people around him who are, uh, and yet he's made these gaffes, though. Yeah, he has, but, you know, I think at the beginning he was kind of left on their own. BP was a little bit uh, short, a little bit... Uh, uh, slow to uh, to bring on the leash and uh, and hold them back. Now, of course, they've gone uh, they've gone wild with uh, advertising campaigns and PR campaigns. And I don't think we're going to hear another unscripted word from Tony Hayward. But when he's left to his own devices, his instincts uh, might not be necessarily what you'd like to see. And I think it also reflects perhaps that he doesn't he doesn't necessarily have the the complete skill set and set of competencies that a uh, CEO of a global complex company like like BP really needs to have. Right, and, and and you're absolutely right on that. And right now they are, you know, this whole big ad campaign. They're doing everything by the textbook at this point. Uh, eventually, though, is Hayward going to be the scapegoat who has to leave the company? Yeah, you know, uh, I, I, I'd be surprised if they... Uh, if they uh, pull the switch uh, very, very soon, because uh, uh, their entire ad campaign, as you mentioned, has him front and center. He's the one who wrote that uh, editorial uh, or opinion piece in the Wall Street Journal. But uh, I think he eventually will be the scapegoat. I think it's just a matter of time when BP could benefit the most by throwing him uh, you know, under the bus. Mm -hmm. At this point, um, I, I don't think so, but I think it's going to happen. Okay. All right, Sydney. Good to talk with you. Appreciate it. Sydney Finkelstein, a professor of management at Dartmouth's uh, Tuck School of Business.